So I'm um, continuing working on this 1970 Fender Rhodes piano and I came across a little uh, issue that we want to correct and it has to do with key dip today. Uh, what we're finding, what I'm finding is that the key dip is good in the center but on the ends it's shallow and uh, I want to take this action out and correct it and I'm going to show you how to do that um, and I'm also going to show you by uh, lining the ruler to the keys to show you the dip. So I'm going to go down in eighth inch increments. There's one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, but it's shy of three eighths. If I wanted to go down, I'd have to push it into aftertouch, which we don't want. So one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, which is shy. So we want to increase that. Now, if we go to the center one here, We're going to see one eighth, two eighths, three eighths. And that's a natural three eighths plus a thirty second. That's what we want. And over here, we're going to find the same thing. It's a little shy. One eighth two eighths, three eighths, but it's not quite three eighths, it's shy of three eighths. Okay, so what we've done, we've removed the case and now we're going to shim the action rail. The screws are located here, 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 and here. There's five of them. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna loosen them and we're gonna install key shims, uh, action rail shims rather. In regards to what shims I've used, You'll probably notice these things are escapement shims came from the factory uh, from Fender. I just cut them up and used them individually as shims. They come in different thicknesses. I just used this particular stock which looks to be about 1 16th. And if you wanted to enhance any of your shimming, you can always cut up a damper or use a thin wood stock. So let's start loosening up. Now that we have the action rail loose, you can see that it moves. And what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna shim this. We kinda wanna get shims on both sides of the screw. So when the screw's tightened, it doesn't pull unnaturally. Okay, so now I'm going to tighten up the action rail back up. Okay. Now we're gonna check that and see if it works. Okay, now we've reinstalled the key bed into the case and we're going to check our key dip after putting the shims in. So we'll see we have one eighth, two eighths, three eighths plus a thirty second. So we have a full and accurate key dip now. Let's check the middle. One, two, three plus a thirty second. So that's accurate. And then we'll go to the upper end of the key bed. And we'll start there. One eighth, two eighths, three eighths, plus a 30 second. So that's a great key dip for this piano now, and it's even. So that's a little tech tip on changing key dip.